For anyone who believes in the Bible, this claim is impossible. The Bible clearly states in Deuteronomy 4.35 that it was shown to the Jewish people in order that they should understand who is God. The Jewish people were given a clear and full explanation by God himself to the nation who God is. Jesus wasn't there, so he cannot be God. That, that would be a basic response. I would want to elaborate a little bit on that, and I would want to point out that Christians have a very difficult time understanding the Jewish problem with the Christian claim that Jesus is God. They believe they are monotheists. They believe in only one God. They claim the Trinity is one, and, and they, have, it's, it's, they don't appreciate what it means to a Jew to claim that Jesus is God. And I would, help, I, I would just have this thought that would help them appreciate the, the difficulty and that is, imagine if someone were to claim about any other human being, whatever it is that the Christians claim about Jesus, how would the Christians react to that? Would they see the difficulty in that? Would they see the, the problem with that? I think that would help them appreciate it. Another point to consider over here is, is that throughout Scripture, God makes fun of people who worship graven images. And he says they have eyes but they cannot see, and they have mouths and they cannot talk, and the question is, how does this, how does, first of all, how does this deal with people who worship a living being, like there are many people who worship animals, or who have eyes and could see? And how would it uh, affect that type of argument? And, and most people who worship, in fact, all people who worshipped idols, statues, would claim they're not worshipping the statue itself, they're worshipping the spirit behind the statue. And how does this affect them? How does this argument relate to them? And the answer is, Imagine if someone were to worship fire. That would be their god. What would they use to represent the fire? So they could use many different representations of the fire. They could put up a candle. They could put an orange uh, color. But one thing they would never use to represent the fire is a bowl of water. Right. Because something that's so totally opposite of fire is, not what they're gonna, is, not, is in no way considered a representation of fire. Now, our concept of God is He is Creator. He is an independent existence. He, is, he sustains everything. There's anything that's a dependent existence, anything that is in the created world, is an opposite of God. You cannot use that to represent God. And if you're using the statue to represent whatever it is that you're worshipping, you missed the boat. That you're, you're worshipping nothing better than a statue because if it wouldn't have something in common with the statue, you wouldn't be using the statue to represent it. So the statue has eyes and it cannot see. And whatever your God is that you're worshipping, has eyes and as it relates to godliness he cannot see.